Hello there. Um, I welcome you all to Neuropedia. My name is Dr. Arif Khan. I'm a consultant pediatric neurologist and I'm the founder and director for uh, Neuropedia Children's Neuroscience Center. I'm here today to talk to you about the first children's uh, ketogenic diet service for epilepsy that we're developing here uh, at Neuropedia. And before we start with that, the moment you hear the word ketogenic diet, what comes to your mind is weight loss. But there is much more to ketogenic diet than just weight loss. Uh, I'm talking about the medical management side. Ketogenic diet has been used uh, for treatments of cancers, for treatment of metabolic conditions, and of course for epilepsy. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. So what is ketogenic diet? Ketogenic diet is a diet that involves a high fat uh, low carbohydrate and an optimal protein diet um, that switches your body fuel source from that of glucose to ketones. Now let me explain that a little bit. When you ingest a lot of carbohydrates uh, in the form of bread, rice and so forth, you break that down to give yourself glucose which is utilized for energy. But by getting onto ketogenic diet, you're shifting that balance by having a lot of fat which breaks down into ketones and here ketones is used as a fuel rather than glucose. How ketones helps control epilepsy we still don't know but there have been a lot of studies carried out that it brings down the seizure frequency in children with epilepsy. With ketogenic diet um, it's been used for more than a century but it has its ups and downs. Uh, there were times when ketogenic diet was used for epilepsy in the 1920s and then with the uh, kind of advent of a number of different anti-epileptic drugs the use of ketogenic diet fell and it came back in the late 90s and that's predominantly uh, because of a movie that came out that's called um, First to No Harm which, which starred Meryl Streep. I would I'd suggest please go and have a watch that movie. It's just uh, fantastic and, and gives you an overview of what ketogenic diet can do uh, for epilepsy. Let me tell you a little about um, how ketogenic diet is used in children with uh, refractory epilepsy or difficult to treat epilepsy. Uh, we know that about 65 to 70 percent of children who have epilepsy can be controlled using medications. Some children need one, some need more than that. But there is a group of 30 or 35 percent of those children who would not respond to anti-epileptic medication and alternative forms of treatment have to be looked at. Ketogenic diet is one of those. So if a child is having a diagnosis of epilepsy and has failed two or more appropriate anti-epileptic medication, they would be an ideal candidate to go through a trial of ketogenic diet. It is used in refractory epilepsy, we know that. It is used in some specific epileptic syndromes. And people ask me, what, what would my child get by starting ketogenic diet? It reduces the seizure frequency by more than 50% in about 50% of the children. And in some children, up to 10%, it reduces to more than 90%. So overall, it improves the quality of life that your child would have. So how ketogenic diet is initiated in a child? Um, you're seen by a pediatric neurologist like myself. Um, I um, discuss the pros and cons of starting the ketogenic diet and check whether your child is eligible and amenable to ketogenic diet. Um, after doing the initial growth assessments and metabolic assessments of, your, of his or her body status, I refer uh, your child to our specialist ketogenic dietitian. Now, this person or this professional is the key. He or she has frequent uh, discussions with you on telephone and in person, uh, helps you monitor the ketogenic diet and also helps you look out for complications if there were any. So initially when the ketogenic diet starts, you would be interacting with a specialist ketogenic dietitian to help you have a smooth transition from a normal diet onto ketogenic diet for your child. In the team, you would also have a specialist nurse who would help uh, your child monitor his or her growth and make sure the appointments are kept on time. So the ketogenic dietitian makes sure that your child's uh, body status in terms of its metabolic balance is always there. Uh, sometimes a child needs to have certain supplementations. Uh, sometimes they have to have uh, some addition of uh, fat in the form of MCT oils or in the form of a natural source of fat. Uh, along with this, there would be daily uh, ketone monitoring from the child's urine sample and sometimes the blood sample. And every three to six months, they have to get an entire metabolic blood analysis done 
to make sure that there are no subtle um, evidences of complications arising. But overall, the team works towards establishing the ketogenic diet in your child in a very smooth manner. And in the first three or four months, it would give you an idea whether the ketogenic diet is helping improve the quality of life and reducing the seizure frequency. And if it does, then it can be continued for two years, maybe up to even five years, and then slowly weaned off after that. Children out there who have had uh, epilepsy or who are suffering from epilepsy have been tried on two or more anti-epileptic drugs. This is one of the options. So do get in touch with us at Neuropedia um, or contact one of the clinicians here, including myself or our ketogenic dietitian. Have a great day. Thank you.